What's up guys? All right, so um, quick few updates on, um, on everything. First of all, um, pretty crazy, this coronavirus um, has got everyone in a wild frenzy. So unfortunately, there was uh, the Arnold Classic was canceled um, and you know, with uh, and even a lot of other expos are, are getting canned. Um, so that's just crazy. So saying that, it's hard. It sucks because I won't be able to meet a lot of you out there at the Arnold um, or these other expos this year. Um, but on the plus side, tune in here to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be putting out lots of content here now, especially for the next five weeks leading into the um, to the Jay Cutler Classic. Um, so at least I'll be able to catch up and fill you in here and you can keep up to date on everything that's going on. The game plan is, the game plan is to get at least a couple of videos out um, every week. Uh, for training, for my for my uh, diet, the supplements, everything that we're uh, we've got going on leading into the show, so that you guys can tune in and see what I'm doing. Um, this show is quite significant for me because it's the first one that I've done in in four years since 2016. Um, so I haven't, yeah. So it's literally I've literally come out of it's like almost coming out of retirement or something because of my injuries two years ago. I had a two year break. Um, after all the um, surgeries and the physical therapy. So this show is quite significant because it's going to complete the comeback. You know what I mean? So I've had, you know, I've had uh, all this, this, this time off and, and uh, getting back with training and repair and stuff. And even though my, my quad isn't 100% and it may not ever be 100%, it's hard to say. Um, at least, um, at least for me getting up and doing this show, in this competition, it just uh, it just completes the comeback. It's it's just whether the, whatever the outcome to me doesn't doesn't really matter. It's just about doing it and showing you guys that you know even through these hardships, these setbacks, you know I'm still going to get up there and do it, give it my all, and and feel completed. You know. So um so to start off, uh, well today's Saturday, and the show is in yeah five 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 weeks from today. Um, so I'm going to try and go through um, each uh, workout, what I'm training, what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to try and actually get a little bit leaner. Oh, well, yeah, I'll probably start doing maybe some cart. What, what is it called? Car what do they call it? Cardi Cardi oh. Cardio. Cardio. I think it's some people walking there. Cross. <laughs> anyway. So anyway, I might even take it to that level where I actually do a little bit of cardio other than walking my dog. We'll see, um, that would be a bit crazy. But anyway, so getting ready for the gym, I've got uh, whey protein isolate from Staunch. Um, this stuff's good to use right before the workout with water, um, a banana for extra carbs. I'm gonna train chest today. Um, maybe some biceps with it, we'll see. And what else is going on? There has to be some more new soyas, surely. Um, I'm going to be writing, logging these down each workout, the wads, the workout of the day. I'm logging them down and putting them up onto the membership site. I'll go through it later, I can show you later, but basically there's a whole, in the, in the membership site you have access to all these different workout um, programs that I've done for different stages of, um, in my bodybuilding career. Classic physique, like getting big like chest, arms, how to focus on each muscle group. So there's all that access to that. Then there's a section where you get workout of the day, where you get to follow me and do exactly what I do um, with my training each day at the gym, then there's a nutrition profile um, with diets and stuff for you guys. So it's a really good um, setup for you guys who are beginning, even advanced or you know intermediate lifters, whatever level you're at, there's something for everyone there. So um, check that out. If you're interested and you want to take your training to another level, 
of coaching. It's not. It's, it's my version of coaching because I can't sit down and get back and personally um, online coach um, people right now. This is a setup that I've got going for you or anyone who wants to have a little piece of what I'm doing, how I'm lifting and all that sort of stuff. Um, okay, so yeah. Protein, banana and chest. And then we'll get going. Uh. Mm -hmm. Reflexes like a cat. Start with 30 pound dumbbell warm up for flies. Oh, I ordered that uh, that monopod. It's supposed to be just a stick that goes all the way down. Oh, so you can just loose it. Yeah, hopefully we get. Be. Hopefully we get some. Like, like Gandalf, the staff. I'm gonna definitely not make any games whatsoever now. <laughs> <It's> gonna... <laughs> Thou shall not pass. <laughs> when CrossFit is trying to invade my space, <laughs> like the Balrog. Thou shall not pass. <laughs> Send them back to their fucking corners. Back to the treadmills. <laughs> back to the. Whatever the hell I do. <laughs> that one room that smells like sweat. <laughs> Sweating. Lots of gains. Dirty cha chas. <laughs> and lots of gains, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> Pulling out the stringy. Okay. Oh man. So what was the what was the eating regime for today? Uh what have I had? Well I woke up, I was in Utah and I had Hotel, buffet, breakfast, omelette, French toast, bacon, eggs, fruit, coffee. And then, oh, damn, what do I do after that? Uh, bag of Skittles, bag of M&M's, chalky milk, 
and then got to and then I got back to LA. Then I went home, four more eggs, two muffins, some cheese, another coffee. And then I snooze or some one piece pineapple shake banana. So I've had like three these three kind of meals, not much. Just whatever. Yeah. We'll see what's after this. Probably in the nail. If you're down. Are we going near it? Get some push. Okay. Lift these fat bitches up. Push. This which is on a bulk. <laughs> Father's uncle, brother, sister. What's next? Edge grip. Check this out. This is rank. I smell, I smell something for like a week. I was like, banana. I was like, hmm, something smells real fruity. Check out that. Six month old banana. That is, that is fuck. I thought it was a giant chili. What do I do with this thing? Just flick it? I mean, we do want maximum gains. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pull, quick pull, question. This is a question for the audience. All right, honest, honest to God question. Okay, if you wanted to train, if you're at the gym and the piece of equipment that you wanted to use is right next to someone else who's had really bad BO to the point where you couldn't use it, do you A, do another exercise until they go, to offer them deodorant, <laughs> a very face mask it and just lift it, what would you do? Coronavirus it. Oh, he's coming over here. Seriously, I mean, if I smell bad, I'd be happy for someone to tell me, hey man, you smell a bit like BO, like, I'd be like, okay, thanks, I'll use some deodorant. Because I don't want to smell bad, like, I swear some people, do they like smelling bad? Maybe they just can't smell themselves. St stupid questions in their head. Got the chucks on today. Yeah, for a change. Something different. Um, I went to, uh, no, I seen a uh, physical therapist yesterday, just by chance bumped into him at the gym and he worked on my quad a little. Because right now, uh, I haven't been going for the last six months because I honestly, I kind of. I just didn't see it was, just wasn't seeing any results for a little while and a bit of training as well. I got to a point where it was like, I just wanted to build a muscle back. But it wasn't, the strength wasn't coming back and he found out that it was all bunched up and tied over, like all the quad had kind of looped over and knotted itself in the middle. So he went in and broke it all apart and said, you gotta manipulate it out and release it so that you get the shape back and then that will release the tension and the, the tightness of the knee and the hip so that when I train I can get some more strength and size back so that gave me a bit of hope to to work on that so I might go back to physical therapy next week try and get them to work on it release it I'm not gonna lie like I mean apart from it being frustrating but I won't get the size back 
especially not in time for this show. Like it's going to be a, a huge weakness, but just got to work around it. You know, it is what it is. I can't do anything drastic about it right now with five weeks left to go. So just going to have to roll with it. Just try and hide it a little bit. And just pop a front door bicep every single time. It'll just be bicep, right bicep, and chest. Maybe deltoid. Okay. Last one. We've done incline dumbbell, flat bench press. There's some cable flies now. Um, I think the shots that we got in Venice yeah. with uh, this same machine, it's placed at a really good spot over there in Mecca. Oh, yeah, in Venice. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's when you had the full on. Dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the light was good in that one too. Yep. The lighting. Gotta get some more of these sick cunt things. Sun's getting a little bit faded. Vintage. Yeah. <laughs> True. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just need more thickness in the back. Yeah, no, it's all right. Just need more mess, really. Just make it a bit juicier. Just. Chick. Five weeks out, slacking off on my food at the moment. See, too lean. What? Why am I so lean already? Anyway, it's not a bad thing. That metabolism. It's fucking off the charts. Uh, finish off with some decline.
TV's out loud. I'll leave it at that for now and then I'm going to start eating. I need to put on some more weight. In and out. Finished a little chest workout. Um, and that's what it was, just that. It was about 30 minutes, um, 30, 40 minutes straight back to back exercises on chest chest warmed up with the with the flies dumbbell flies um incline press dumbbell press flat bench press uh and then cable flies and then a wide kind of a decline flat bench machine press as well so just getting uh getting a bit of pump in there some blood flying um it's still i was a little bit sore from a few days ago so so I've done a heavy, a heavy day, so I just want to get a pump on it. Now we're going to go get some in and out. I'm going to try and put on a little bit of weight before I cut it off again. So, uh, yeah, so that's good. Um, probably take tomorrow off, I'm not sure. Um, uh, rest up tomorrow and then we'll get back hopefully to some leg training, some physical therapy stuff done. Um, and then, yeah, next week, pick up again on the some big back days and arms. Whatever you guys... If you want to see anything in particular for training and stuff at the gym, you know, or any um, exercises or sets or, or muscle groups that, you know, you're particularly interested in or something to, uh, to, to follow up on, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll try my best to get back uh, if I can. So, yeah, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe if you want to be a part of this juicy Cartlet Prep Classic showdown coming up soon. Peace.